So it's settled then. Anyone lost at sea automatically relinquishes their vote to the mayor's discretion. I'll have the town carpenters begin on our new bottomless rowboats first thing tomorrow. Barry Dingle, you had something to address. Thank you kindly, Mr. Mayor. What if I told you the answer to untold wealth and power was buried right in our own town square? Gold? Oil? Mustache wax. No, secrets. I read it right here in Evil Ordinance Makers Monthly. They call it a time capsule. Drives a hearse and keeps a pickle near his heart Or if he's got the strength of a 20-mule train cart Her cat and spider help chase down the bad rough cowboy Pyrodyne sews them up, sets their eyes in nickel alloy The goodbye family is not like you and me What happened here in this godforsaken place? Gracious, watch your mouth. So let me get this straight. We record their most precious thoughts. Bury them. And some yahoo in a hundred years opens it for their benefit? Uh, I don't get it. Why, you wouldn't. Yes. I don't understand the angle. How does it help our brothel? How does it help our investments? I have an idea. Your last idea led to the great bosom piercing shortage? Hear me out. What if we create a survey? We'll say it's for public health or education or something like that. Get them to expose their most vital information. Then we bury it. We dig it up and we use their knowledge against them. Yes, yes. We gather their secrets. Confessions. Prize possessions. Create gossip. They distrust each other. Then they will be so preoccupied with it, they'll pay less to our underhanded dealings. It's wicked. It isn't very nice. It's brilliant. They'd never report those kind of things to us. We've already garnered so much resentment. I could get the girls into it. I could get the flock to do it. No, we need someone more ignorant than a demented donkey. Someone as dumb as a doornail. A real imbecile. Otis calling. 